What's this? Can it be? It looks like the water is rising. Oh my. What shall I do? Someone? Anyone? Help. Well, someone asked if you could create a flooding effect with the water in iClone, and uh, this is the way I've done it in the past. I'm going to select a terrain, one of the basic uh, mesh medium terrains, and now I'm going to select some water. And let's uh, get a gentle wave here. Okay. Uh, now, it would seem like if you selected the water and if you and you moved your timeline control down a few frames and you adjusted the height here that you might be able to animate the uh, raising of the water. That is not the case. Notice it does not animate. Uh, so what I have found I have to do is first off make sure you have selected water and hit the control Q to turn your cursor into the move cursor. Uh, you don't want the rotate or the size. You want the W, which is the move cursor. If there was a gizmo here, the gizmo would go away and this is what you would see. So make sure you've hit uh, Control Q, turned your cursor into the move cursor, and now make sure water is selected. Now slide your timeline where you want the water to raise. And I'm going to use the mouse wheel and hold down the shift key and it's going to raise the water up really high. So now if I back up, the water will animate and it will move up. So uh, if you of course look on your timeline you'll see that when you have water selected there's really nothing to control here and if you've made a mistake you kind of have to start over again with your uh, up and down movements and where your invisible keyframes as it were would be so you'd have to reload your water and start again if you make a mistake but once you get what you need it will animate uh, that's just the little hoop I have to jump through at least on my system this is the way I can animate water I uh, hope that helps <laughs>